Okay, so this is a vintage Kramer Beretta C series, 1984. The just got them UPS to deliver, signature required. Well, very excited. And uh, well, let's open it, see what we got. I'll pause this part. Okay, so anyhow, um, let's turn it around because it says this side up. Um, this guitar, I'll be the third owner. First owner was the original owner, bought it in 1984. I think in the UK, the serviceman on station in the UK, he sold it to my seller in 2019. And here I bought it in September of 2021. Had a nice little piece of packing foam to top it there. It's a good idea. I can't believe it. Yeah, you know, I owned a 85 Beretta in 85. Bought it brand new from the Melody shop in Dallas. And then I traded it back in the day for an acoustic when I decided I was gonna play country. Dumb. And then I started chasing after it again. Had a couple of them. Passed through my hands, always black Berettas. Oh, I've had some Ripley's. Look at this. This is one of those. I like this case, man. This is a. I think it's one of those Canadian. Yeah, it's all black. Yeah, it looks like it's real nice. Got the little scuffs. There's a little Telex tear here. No big deal, man. It's a. Man, this guitar. It's like 37 years old. 38. Something like that. Oh, man. I can't even believe this. So I'm about to open it for the first time. There's a little bend there on that. that may have happened in shipping or maybe just to keep the keep it from popping open not sure no big deal bam oh here it is Seller, man, I really like this guy. He's been very nice, sending me everything I wanted to know about the guitar, extra pictures. He's very patient with me. Some extra padding there. Yeah, it's one of those Everest. Everest cases. Oh, man, I can't believe it. Happy day. Put a little piece of look at this. Oh, I'm holding it for the first time. That's heavy. Nice maple body. Put a little thing under the trim there. A little extra protection. Strings are loosened. So we're going to take the tape off the compartment here.
This is supposed to be the trim bar, or it's the sandwich. Man, this is exciting. Yeah, so I haven't owned one in um, about 12 years ago. I sold my last black Beretta. Yeah, I'm thinking I wasn't going to miss it. You know how we are. And I missed it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to be a part of the Kramer Brotherhood or Fellowship and not own a Kramer anymore. Well, guess what? I don't only own a Kramer, I own a, I'm gonna be owning a very nice Kramer. All right, so there's my trim bar. Based on all my preliminary brain damage, this one appears to be just totally I mean, there's been some, you know, a big brass blocks and brass fine tuners. Uh, the pot, volume pot has been replaced. But other than that, I mean, this is like a, a you know, just a bone stock. Beretta. You know, it's got the scarf neck. Scarf joint neck. Um, the truss rod notch in the body it's a c plate, late c plate c700 the beretta logo oh beretta logo on the oh man this thing's heavy look at that Woohoo! look at that man there you go son How's about that, man? Ooh, this thing's heavy. Weighs a ton. Weighs a ton. Look how beautiful. Look at this thing, man. Look at it. Oh, I can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Look at that. Look, you can see that two-piece body seam there behind the bridge. Got a couple little dings there on the head. Um, better that I didn't do that. Yeah, man. Look at that. Look at that cut. That sharp cut, man. That's how I can tell those maple bodies. Other than it being just heavy, but it's that cut, man. And just that beautiful shape. Look at it. Look at that shaler pickup. Well, we're gonna take a short break and uh, that's it, man. That's what it's like when you get you a nice vintage Beretta. Kramer Beretta. Oh man, this is a good day. This is a good day. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Um, we'll get back with you when we get this thing fired up.